Alright, welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Trial and Tribulations. Last time, uh, we got some information from, uh, well, from Gumshoe and from Armstrong about his alone loan company. And now we're here at said loan company with the creepy girl who wants to give us coffee and not does the desk. So we're not gonna touch the desk, we're just gonna put our eyes on everything. <laughs> and maybe touch some things, but not the desk. The desk is not okay. Anyway, about this, uh, this, this very snazzy blue jacket over here. Yeah, it looks familiar. Hey, look at this partisan style coat, it's so chic. It looks more like a pimp coat to me, guess I've got an eye for fashion. Hey, look at this. The suit is the same color as the one you wear, Nick. Hmm. Same color as my suit. Ah! Keep your voice down, Maya. But Nick, you, you've got to take a look at this. Some cake? <laughs> ah! I'll just leave it here for you. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I, um, thanks. Yeah, thanks. Bye. Just wait here quietly, otherwise. Sh sh sure. Did you hear that, Nick? Wait quietly, she said. <laughs> yeah, sure. It's kind of yell that. I have my eye on you. Only so I can take care of you. Understand? Ah, I'm scared, Nick. So, what were you getting so excited about before? A look on the lapel of the suit. Oh. Uh. That's... That, that, that's an attorney's badge. That's cardboard. It is. Is the tiger a lawyer? No way. Look at this badge. It's made of paper. A paper badge. For some reason, your badge suddenly looks really cheap to me. Why does anyone recognize an obviously fake badge when they see one? Because they're dummies, that's why. Uh, somebody dropped their ashtray and a phone on the ground. Oh no, someone's dropped the ashtray on the floor. It's going to be a nightmare to pick up. Yeah, it's all the rug and everything. I accidentally knocked over a really big space heater once. Cleaning up was such a pain. <laughs> it was one of those super antiques where you have to burn a ton of charcoal. How did she manage to knock one of those over? Are they also super heavy? Oh, hey! There's a book of matches here, too. Oh, yeah, that, that's on a phone. Trey BN. It is. Matches, though. Please don't get this uh, as much out nowadays. Hey, wait a second. What is it? Look what's printed on this back. It says Tribian. Tribian matches. Cool. Matches can come in handy. These might be able to use them. Yeah. Oh, fires. Pilot light for the off office boiler keeps going out. <laughs> Swing and a miss, Maya. Swing and a miss. Uh, there's a says something up here. Can't read that quite. Went through compromise. Wow. I wonder what that's supposed to mean. It must mean something if they took the trouble to frame it like that. Yeah, well, it still doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, hi. Uh, <laughs> ah! My <laughs> Oh? Compromise the customer to win. Uh -huh. Oh, I see. How about you, Nick? Um, yeah. Well, as long as we don't have to compromise my hair, I'd say we're okay. That's one slogan no business owner should ever have to explain to their customers. 
Anyway, there's a there's a pink CD player on the, the, the very very shiny desk. There's a CD player on the desk, but the desk the desk is so loud it's a wonder you can hear it. The lid's open. I wonder what kind of music the tiger's into. Have you finished the coffee? Ah! <laughs> so many ass. <laughs> yes, thanks. It was lovely. So, you drank it all? <laughs> <laughs> if you touch anything else that doesn't belong to you, there's always another cup. That coffee was laced with something. I don't was sure of it. Nick, my stomach, it's killing me! You guys actually drank the coffee? What are you nuts? Oh, wait. Maybe it was just the burger I ate for breakfast. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I sure hope so. We have to take a look at the CD while we're still alive and have the chance. What the? What? It's not the Rocco soundtrack, is it? Claw of the Tiger? It's... it's a demo CD. Their name has been handwritten on the disc... on the disc and pen. MC Bomber. What?! This must be the CD Maggie was told us about. Let's listen to it! I bet it's heavy metal! No way! That one will make us drink more coffee if we do. Let's just take it. All you! All me. And it won't stop. It won't stop. <laughs> ah! Is Maya fall over? Come up from under the desk, Maya. It's not even your desk. <laughs> it's not. What are you just snooping around my damn office for? Nothing. We're just. Grrr, my precious carpet! You got ash on my rug! You're gonna wish your ugly feet never came through my door! It wasn't us. It was already like that. You just want to argue with me? Is that what you're doing? You you think you can take me on? I'm going to flatten those two in the pancakes and in turn use into my new rugs. Ah! <laughs> oh. I'm T-Ray, you're back. <laughs> the voice is like evil seeping into your head through your ears. I'm sorry, Don Tigre. I knocked over the ash tree before and... <laughs> Is she got a death wish or what? Oh, right. <laughs> uh-huh. Forget blood, it's nothing. What? 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 I ain't gonna get mad at you. You're too cute, you hear? That's so unfair. Here. Have some cookies. I just baked them. And you'll need some strong espresso while you're discussing your loan. Guar, Phoenix Ray. Yes. You see, the crazy is plain stupid to chase after me. I worked so hard, but now you just gotta come and mess up my plan. So was him. He's my phony. <laughs> but I don't care. No one gets in my way. What? I mean, excuse me? <laughs> you should have left the little girl at home, right? Um, I don't think I want to ask. Rawr! I'm not reading that. Ah, oh, come on. No. Come Said on. ah like seven <laughs> times. Come on. <laughs> Duh. <clears throat> no question. This is the last time we meet. Ah, wait, no. <laughs> please. That was pretty weak, Nick. Hi, Maya. You got anything to say besides, ah? You waited until he was out of earshot before you shouted after him. <laughs> like, you're going to talk. I didn't hear you scream, hold it either. Ah. 
the espresso. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> and cookies. Something is definitely not good for my heart. Or Maya's lungs, for that matter. No, what was it the tiger called her? Valletta. Valletta. <laughs> okay. Tenderlander. So, kind of curious about your company, Tenderlander. It's a warm and friendly atmosphere you'd expect from a family-sized person. Conscientious rate of interest and attractive. Why do I get the feeling this is not going to end well? We will tenderly lend you that little bit extra here at Tender Thunder. Hey, Nick, things are a bit tight for Wright and Co. at the moment, okay? Maya, no. Don't even not, bring that up no. in front of her. What are you Don't doing? Don't do that. That's bad. I mean, there's that $500 you owe me for what? our card games, for starters. What? what? <laughs> I highly doubt that. What? Why don't you take out a loan? Would I like to take out a loan for a place like this? Not so much. Tender letter is on your side. <laughs> So, um, let's say I'm late with repayment. What happens then? If you want strong talk. Um, right. I think I'd rather skip town. Hey, just remember I can make strong coffee too, Nick. Strong tea as well. Oh, but you don't even know, Maya. Yours isn't laced with poison. Yeah. Poison or other things. So, um, do you know anything about the incident we're investigating? What incident? Well, a man was poisoned in the restaurant just near here, that incident. Let me see. I was here that day with the manager. The manager being Tiger. Furio Tigre. Furio? Tigre? So that's where the tiger thing comes from. Zenioff's got a real name, Nick. Hurry up and find out more about him. <laughs> I guess we have a profile now, so. Present uh, the tiger. Present the tiger. 42! He's 42. That's old. It is. <laughs> Can I ask you about the, the tiger? I mean, Mr. Tigre? Cookie? I don't want a cookie. <laughs> Sir? Nick, the honor is all yours. No, no, ladies first, Maya, ladies first. <laughs> no matter how I look at this, I just don't get it. What are the tiger and the scary girl doing working together? Did she read my mind? Oops. That's not exactly coming across in your tone of voice. The tiger saved you? Okay, okay. Don Tigre. Of course. I'm sorry. He saved her life. I'd sure like to know how that happened. But she probably. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> Too much coffee. Um. Oh. Yes. Oh, I guess. 
Okay, so it's tell us. Cool. I'm there for Alex. Just recently, I died once. <laughs> you died? About four months ago. Doctor said to abandon all hope. I guess they're expecting her to take a boat ride across the the river sticks. But Don Tigre. He saved me. Gave up everything. Everything? When I found out what he had done for me, I was happy. No offense, but I'm finding that a little hard to believe. I decided I'd pay him back with my life by serving him coffee and espresso. I still wonder about what's in her coffee. So, is that why you've got that bandage around your head? <laughs> this? The head bandage. Um, so what's the story with the bandage? They put it on after the operation. Operation? It's just a little injury. A little fatal injury. <laughs> a f fatal injury? Might have just suffered one herself by the sound of it. So, that's the injury you were talking about before when you said you died once. Oh. Uh oh. It's a lot. Oh. Oh, I'm surprised there's not a fifth one in the middle. Yeah. Damn. Well. Ugh, she really creeps me out, Nick. Save me here, but we gotta find out the truth. Well, there's no way we have the evidence for that right now. Yeah, no. We don't even Not have the evidence all. for uh, Lisa well, Bray Brell or whatever her name Basil. was. Basil. We might that have one. it now. Do we? Don Tigre, the tiger, for true. Roaches. True, true, true. Might this have true. it. Might. This is true. Are we going to see the tiger oh, again? Oh boy. Is it Victor? There, there he is. Old CD's <laughs> back again feeding the pigeons. There he is. There. Take this. In this. And get out of my park. Like I thought. He's really mad. Come on, Maya. Just keep your head down. Let's sneak away while we still can. <laughs> what? Why? Hello, old man. What are you doing, Maya? Huh? Ka. Hey, he just turned his back on us. I'm not surprised. I better really hurt his pride in court this morning. Hey, Mr. Kudo. <laughs> P -p Pigeon. Ka. Look, we really need to talk to you, all right? Out with the demons. In with good fortune. <laughs> ow, 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 ow! Seed shell splinters! Painful. I always knew you're a demon, Maya. <laughs> okay. That's a, that's a bit what? rude. A bit rude. The second one is entirely not important, but okay. Fine. Anyway, today's trial. Um, I'm sorry about what happened in court earlier today. Ka, everyone will be talking about you behind my back now. A dirty old man is duty looking at the serving girl's backside. You can't remember her face. I felt like a depraved animal. <laughs> Not at all. Hey, listen to me, boy. I don't care what you say. I saw that waitress put it in. She put some white powder in that lad's javachino. We hear you. And another thing. The, the old layout, layabout was wearing an earpiece. On the same size as Linda's broken spectacles. Really sorry. So I made a little mistake about the vase. So what? I know what I saw. 
I tell you! I tell you! I tell you! Okay, okay, just take it easy, please, Mr. Kudo. <laughs> Don't tell me to take it easy, you spiky-haired brat! Take this! <laughs> uh, embroiderer. Um, you said you were a craftsman, right? Ka the modern word casts on his craftsmen like me to stride in droves. Surely it's not that. I came from a long line of craftsmen, right back to the time of the shoguns. Do you hear me? I didn't become a embroiderer, I was born one. Actually, it's kind of in- I'm kind of in the same situation myself. That's true. I- I- I wanted to stick my fingers up in that dribbling old judge's nose and scream right down his ear hole. Objection! Oh, so... Did you want to become a lawyer when you were young? I don't think that's quite it, Maya. I think he's just in a bad mood. That's all. Yeah. I gotta just... I got a tsunami of frustration and science ready to burst out. If let him start rambling now, he may never shut him up. What should I do? Suck it up. Suck it up. I guess I better let him talk. So there's not much call for catsmen these days then. <clears throat> of course not, you idiot. All I'm good for nowadays is running errands. Errands? I would take advantage of the elderly. Buy some bread, Gramps. Take the dog for a walk, Granddad. Feed the pigeons, old man. What am I, some sort of two-bit community handyman? Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> um, well... <laughs> Buy some bread. No, that I can understand. But what's the point of feeding some seedy pigeons? Why don't people say what they mean? Get lost, that's what they're trying to say. Oh yes, I'm just an inconvenience, you see. At home, that restaurant, I just get in the way, don't I? I I'm sure you don't. Wait a minute. What did you just say? At home and at that restaurant? Explain yourself, old man. Uh, hold up. By restaurant, are you talking about Trebian? Did you get asked to run an errand there, too? Yes, I did! The very day that young bat was poisoned. What? They're making you run errands there, too? What the hell? It's not right. Here. So, on the day of the incident, what were you asked to do? Dad, you asked, boy. Because I'll tell you what I was asked to do. All of a sudden, the young lad slumped over the table. The serving hole collapsed. I broke that vase. It all happened so fast. I was in a bit of a daze, you see. Then you all shouted over to me. Excuse moi, you. Ye call la police. Call them yourself. I should have said back. But I didn't think of it at the time. So, did you end up calling the police? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just the whole playing. thing is weird. Doing the old man voice and doing Armstrong impressions. Like, fucking messed me up. <laughs> anyway. Like I said, there was a bit of a daze. Did you call them on your cell phone? He doesn't have a cell phone. Are you crazy? Cat, do look like I have one of those new fangled thingamajigs. I went looking for a payphone, of course. You went looking for one? I couldn't find one right away, you know. I wandered around for about five minutes or so. That's a big gap. It for is. five minutes? So, for five minutes after the incident happened, yesterday, the owner was at Trey being on his own. Why didn't you mention this in court this morning? Well, it would have if you'd give me the chance. Y'all bored me out of the courtroom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when, when he remembered something else. Yeah. Gotcha. He remembered... Remembered that. Okay. But we were like, no, shut up, old man. You're done. It's not my fault. You're the ones to blame. You could have at least told us before we got to court. Is it really that important that Mr. Kudo was the one who called the police? Yeah, What's it is. What's important is the unaccounted time before the police yeah. arrived. The victim was dead, and Maggie was unconscious. 
which leaves that woman, I mean, that man, alone in the restaurant. Mr. Kudo might have been chased out of the place on purpose. What do you mean? Maybe it's certain someone didn't want him in the restaurant. Ah! Oh, sure, you go ahead and say I was in the way, as usual. Those are reasons giving myself covered in pigeon poop instead, hmm? <laughs> what? That's we need to get weird. more details about exactly what happened. From Maggie and from Mr. Armstrong. Well. It's very interesting. Hmm. Well, when we come back next time, we will uh, go talk to Maggie and Mr. Armstrong and see what they have to say about all this. So, till then. <laughs>